Alex Deathmonk here. Today I'm going to be talking about some rather interesting things concerning Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 3 Season 4 and potentially the live event uh, for the end of the season. So as you guys can see from Fortnite's official um, website, uh, they've actually put up a rather interesting blog post. Nothing is inevitable. Unlock the Herald in the Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 Battle Pass. Now, the Herald is no longer someone to be heralded. Complete the Herald's Battle Pass quest, available now to unlock the Herald outfit, plus more items from the Nothings Forever set. All these quests and their rewards can be seen below, so make me out to your plaything as you complete them. Please note the Chapter 3 Season 4 Battle Pass purchase is required in order to complete these quests. So as you guys can see, we've got like this uh, rather interesting loading screen called the Nothing is Happening. Uh, and obviously must involve the reality tree becoming chromed, so that's really interesting there. Uh, so page one of the Herald quest, for those who don't know, uh, you have to ignite 50 structures, which unlocks the Epitaph Edge pickaxe. Eliminate 10 opponents. Elimination is a key component of nothing, which unlocks the Herald's Leer Spray. Do 500 damage to opponents while chromified, which unlocks the Herald Banner icon. Tame two, sorry, tame two chromified wildlife creatures, which unlocks the Fading Ember Cloak Backbling. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think these are these ones right here, guys. So, make sure you guys get these done as quick as you can. Uh, Completing all the quests on page 1, you'll unlock page 2, and these involve destroying 50 objects with the explosive goo gun, which unlocks the Reality's Master emote, which I'll pop on screen here for you guys. Uh, the next one is to get chromified while driving, which unlocks the Chrome Gratulations emoticon. Next one, talk with three characters and deliver the Herald's warning. I'm not sure what that one's about, but that unlocks that nothing is happening loading screen. Eliminate two opponents at airborne locations, and I'm thinking, if I'm not mistaken, I think these might be the ones that are actually on the balloons. So that's going to be really interesting there. And that, and that unlocks the Heveldick wrap. And finally, land at Hevel's Sanctum and place top ten in the match. That unlocks the Burning Ember style of the Herald outfit. So, and these are these ones right here, guys. So that's really interesting there. If you're on the Chapter 3 Season 4 Battle Pass, the quests are available now in the quest page. The quests will remain available until the end of the season. Now, don't forget, guys, the season does officially end in December. I believe it's December the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken, so that's interesting there. Uh, Epic are currently working on the downtime countdown timer for the end of season event. Uh, that's according to Initiated YT on Twitter, who's quite credible. I think he's got quite a few things right so far. Uh, another interesting thing to take a look at is a new... Uh, skin that involves customizable wraps. Now I've had these quite a few times in the past um, so this should be an interesting little video to take a look at. So you can change its primary colour, you can also change the whether it, the, the metal colour, whether you want it as bluish steel or gold or platinum and things like that that's really interesting there or heated. And I think there's also some wraps, so basically some how you want the symbols to look like. So that's really interesting there guys. Interesting to look at, see how much you can customize that Pacific skin. Um, on top of this, there's also a new Fortnite CS skin. This is uh, basically for competing competitive uh, certain matches. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's, of course, the actual champion, or I think you can get these through the item shop after the tournament is finished, as far as I know, anyway. But that's interesting. Uh, on top of this, there's also a Dia de los Muertos skin, which looks uh, pretty cool if I do say so myself. Obviously, based on the uh, Midas skin, uh, so that's really interesting there. Um, I think we've got a Midas skin on top of this, to be honest with you. Uh, so, we've got a few more skins there, really interesting to see. Uh, Sheena BR has uh, backed up those uh, FNCS skins. Now, another thing to note uh, during that event is you, if you look very carefully on that specific emote uh, that I mentioned about in the uh, blog post that Fortnite updated, uh, Echo, or FN Chief Echo, has actually found out something rather interesting. Unlike the others, this particular map doesn't look like one we've seen before. It could just be a random filler asset for the Herald's emote, it could be a def deformed version of the Chapter 2 map, or it could be something else. So, for those who don't know, uh, if you look at the Herald's emote, uh, inside the battle, I want to say the battle pass, but uh, including in the uh, those extra challenges for the Herald, 
uh, you will notice that um, he's actually hold she's actually holding a globe and within that globe are the these images so as you guys can see we've got um, what appears to be the chapter 2 map that's been affected by the uh, cubes I think we've also got um, I think this is the current map if I'm not mistaken in the top left hand corner <clears throat> uh, this one in the bottom left I think was also the chapter 2 map where it was flooded um, I think not quite quite make these ones out in the, these two here but um, I think this might be chapter 1 but I'm not 100% sure on that and down the bottom right we can assume uh, we haven't seen this specific map before but so this could potentially be chapter 4 but I want to know what you guys thoughts of this in the comments box down below just a little uh, tease possibly a little teaser before the live event happens now apparently from what we understand so far it's it could potentially be chapter 4 but there's more to suggest it could be chapter 3 season 5 but um, that's according to some rather interesting leaks uh, for those who don't know, planes and helicopters are currently set to be unvaulted at the same time this season. Planes will spawn in the helipads and helicopters will spawn, spawn in the helipads above gas stations. So that's interesting there. So for those who don't know, planes were supposed to be coming in the last uh, patch update before now. And they never turned up. So, but we'll have to wait and see exactly when um, these planes are going to drop down eventually. Um... For those who don't know also, Hypex has actually said the Fortnite football challenges that are timed around the World Cup later this month will include two challenges that require you to slide after scoring and dance after sliding. Now for those who don't know, um, I'll see if I can find someone to back this up, uh, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is a collaboration that's currently happening with Fortnite um, involving the World Cup, and I believe we're getting some sort of challenges um, using some sort of football skins. And fun fact here, guys, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, the one that's just come out, is actually doing a collaboration with the World Cup as well, which does involve three football players. Uh, Paul Pogba, Neymar, and... God, what's his name? Lionel Messi. So that's really interesting there, guys. Again, I want to know what you guys thought of these in the comments. And just to quickly finish off, a new dial -a drop item, which is an epic rarity, and this can spawn a generic health or vehicle supply drop. Vehicle supply drop spawns a modded pickup truck, health supply drop spawns health and shield supplies, and you'll be able to select the type of supply drop and where to place it on the map. So that's going to be really interesting there, guys. I want to know what you guys thought of this in the comments box down below. So, I want to know what you guys thoughts are. Again, leave them in the comments. Subscribe button if you're new. Hit the notification bell and upload if uh, make sure you guys look, thumbs up the video if you're all excited to see more. And make sure you guys also use my support code okay, in the app shop, DeathMonk2092, and it's on screen right now in the description. Until, until the next episode, peace.